25 years ago, Nigeria's Chiamajun was gold medal jump sent shockwaves around the world. She made history. It was the first time Nigeria won a gold medal at the Olympic Games. The first by a woman. Two and a half decades later, a new collection of women athletes will be carrying the hopes and dreams of Nigeria at the Tokyo Olympics. Four women, four stories, one goal. As they look to make history. Today, I talk to Toby Amuso, Ese Brume, Adora Ilonu, and Oduayo Adekroye as they share their inspiration, passion, and ultimate quest for glory. My name is Tega Onojaife, and this is Headliner. Adora Elonu was born in Houston, Texas. The third child and first daughter of Nigerian parents who migrated to the United States of America in search of better opportunities. I would explain life as very eventful. Um, I had a big family of, of five, so there was always something, always something going on. Um, if it wasn't us, fighting or complaining was us having a good time together. Inspired by her mother, Adora fell in love with basketball. She will go on to be a part of the Texas A&M team that won the 2011 NCAA basketball tournament. What was that feeling like? I remember the meeting that we had, we said our goal was to get to the Final Four. and. I did, that always sticks out to me because we placed ourselves there before I guess anyone else would have put us there. And just that whole season was, I don't know if magical is the right word, but it was just very, very special. However, Adora's dream of playing basketball professionally took a big hit. Did you ever think that come 2012, you would go undrafted? It was disappointing, but I don't like to um, sit in one place and worry or be sad. I always move forward because I have a strong faith and I know that if there's something I can't physically control, there will be something else for me. Rather than let that derail her dreams, she will take her talents overseas. Playing first in Israel, then Spain. I think it was a big reason of why I was able to play for Nigeria because some of the players, um, we got into contact with each other and so they were like, oh, have you ever thought about playing for Nigeria? And then that's when my mom revealed to me that, I guess when I was in college, someone called her asking if I was willing to play for Nigeria. Ooh. Yes. And my mom answered for me and said, no. You know, there is a stigma with playing and competing for Nigeria. And my parents were just mm -hmm. like, you know, what, what has Nigeria really done for you? Are you sure you want to go through that? You know, all the stress and... <laughs> Adora joined a new and improved national team made up of a collection of local and international players. Well, on the court, I would say she's, she's like that glue, that glue player that she does a little bit of everything. She's experienced, she's poised. She makes the right decisions on offense. She's always where she's supposed to be on defense. And she's just that one consistent factor that you know you're going to have, you know, towards a winning uh, situation. They trust her. Very selfless. It's almost you know, someone that you would try to go, if you had to go buy a captain, you had top dollar, that's what you would purchase. In our style of play, the women specifically, we fight until the end. So I think our fans and our supporters need to support us until the end. We sense that support when we have it and we appreciate it. 